figure represents part of the hydraulic braking system of a car. The force F1 of the driver's foot on the brake pedal moves piston A. The space between piston A and B is filled with oil, which cannot be compressed. The force F2 exerted by the oil moves piston B. This force is applied to the brake mechanism in the wheels of the car. The area of cross section of piston A is 5.2 cm square. The force F1 is 208 newtons. Calculate the pressure exerted on the oil by piston A. As usual, we are going to underline the givens in the question. We have the area 5.2 cm square and we have the force 208 newtons. And he's asking for the pressure. So you can easily find that. The rule that gives the relationship between pressure, force, and area is pressure equals force over area. Force is 208. Area is 5.2 cm square. This gives the pressure, which is 40. In this case, you cannot say Pascal. Your unit will be newtons per cm square because your area is in cm square, and this is not a standard unit of area. The standard unit of area is meter square. So if you want to give the answer in pascals, you must change the 5.2 centimeter square to meters square. This answer is correct, but you cannot give the answer in pascals. So if you want the answer in pascals, you will say that pressure equals force over area. Force is 208. No conversion is needed here because the newton is the standard unit of forces. 5.2 will be divided by 10,000, which is 100 times 100. To change the 5.2 from centimeter square to meter square, in this case, the answer will be 400,000 newtons per meter square. Newtons per meter square is Pascal, but newtons per centimeter square is not Pascal. Pascal is the standard unit of pressure. Question B. The pressure on piston A is the same as pressure applied by piston B. Explain why the force F2 is greater than force of F1. Here we need to understand our system. This is our hydraulic braking system. This is piston A and this is piston B. The space between piston A and piston B is completely filled with oil. Oil is a liquid. Liquids are normally incompressible. If we apply a force F1 on piston A, this force will push on the oil. So the oil will cause an equal pressure on each point in the cylinder. This pressure will push piston B with force F2 outwards. Actually, the force F2 is not equal to force F1. Force 1, which is applied to the small area of piston A, causes a pressure. The same pressure is applied on the large area of piston B. Since the pressure is equal on piston A and piston B, this means that Force 1 divided area 1 of piston A equals force 2 divided area 2 of piston B. Since A2 the area of piston B is much greater and bigger than area 1 of piston A, this means that force F2 will be bigger than F1. This is a ratio. The ratio between F1 and F2 is the same ratio of area 1 to area 2. So, when he asks about an explanation, why force F2 is greater than force F1, we can answer, pressure equals force over area. Area of piston B is greater, so the force on it will be greater, because pressure is the same.